In tonight's top story, an upstate family remembering a man who was stabbed to death over the weekend. It happened Saturday morning. Brian Martin's family says he knew the murder suspect who deputies identified as Bradley Wilkins. And it all unfolded along Ash Drive in Greenville County. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer talked to Brian's sister earlier today. Brooklyn's live tonight in Greenville County. So Brooklyn, I know this is going to be heartbreaking so close to the holidays. Yeah, Cody, a truly devastating loss. Brian's family says it's heartbreaking, especially for his five-year-old son, Thomas. Now they say that Thomas lives in another state with his mom, but Brian had always been very close with him, and he had even just mailed him Christmas gifts days before his death. He was my best friend. He was, he was, he was my heart, and now that he's gone, a piece of my heart, it's, it's not there anymore. On Saturday morning, Emily Godfrey's world came crashing down. I got the call telling me to come over here, that I need to get over here ASAP. Greenville County deputies say a man stabbed Brian Martin outside his front door at Silver Creek Apartments. EMS rushed Brian to the hospital where he later died. His sister says it still seems unreal. I sit in the living room and I just wait for him to walk through the door and say, I'm home. And I, and the fact, just knowing that he's never gonna walk through that door again, it's what, it's what breaks my heart. Deputies charged Bradley Wilkins with Brian's murder. Brian's family says the two were acquaintances and deputies described the stabbing as a domestic issue. Brian, he didn't deserve this. Brian did not deserve this, not one bit. Brian was such a loving and caring person. He loved everybody. Brian did not have an enemy at all. For somebody just to come up and take his life like that, it's, it's not right. Now, Brian's family is holding a memorial service on Thursday night. It's at Palmetto Mortuary on Malden Road. It's from 6 until 8 p.m. Reporting live, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news.